Hello and welcome back to another episode of Diaries of Death. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing with Diaries of Death where I am playing World of Warcraft Hardcore in the anticipation of meeting my end at some point. But that point has not happened yet. We're trying to reach level 60 without dying. Um, and today I got a little special something for you. Yes, we are going into another dungeon. It is Wailing Caves time after Ragefire Chasm um, was a bit overleveled, shall we say. We're now going in quite on the border of almost being under a level. Uh, whilst we're going into Wailing Caverns. Got a nice little group here uh, with a teddy tank and a priest healer double mage and so on and so forth so we should be fine let's see how good the tank is going to keep aggro we're going to stay at the back line and are going to sheep heads whenever needed Got plenty of uh, quests here Got plenty of quests here, so oh, that should be an interesting run. And maybe it will finally help us with our absolute disaster of an equipment. The other mage is fire spec and our hunter doesn't seem to appreciate that we do have one main target. Good, so I assume this dungeon will be a little bit uh, more crowd controlly. Although so far our tank seems to just engage. Interesting. We're already having problems. That early. Tank scolds our healer. Perfect situation of how to not act at the very beginning. But we managed to get uh, through with around like four or five. Pretty sizable pull. And I wasn't even at full mana.
good. Let's get our quest uh, items because we do have quite a bit of uh, quests here. really doesn't want us to crowd control. Well, this is going to be fun because this is a great example of how to not approach a dungeon. Even if it seems kind of repetitive and lame to simply take one enemy out and leave another one And leave another one as the main target it's just incredibly efficient i mean what can i say But at least people are taking the raid signs somewhat serious. Saving some mana so that I can re-sheep. That's a good one. Of course, we're not getting it. I think we haven't won a single loot item so far. This is hilarious. As long as I get a uh, tunic of uh, sorts. Why are people attacking the sheep target? This is random, guys. I'm just trying to do my best. Luckily for us, all of uh, this is not that difficult, so... We're simply free to engage them and kind of relatively freely attack uh, the enemies in whatever form the tank wants.
So when it comes to sp uh, to things that I've seen in hardcore, uh, then it's really people are not playing focused or concentrated enough. Then things are going wrong and all of a sudden everybody panics and tries to run to the exit knowing farewell that unless you're abuse, uh, abusing pathing, you're not going to be faster than the mobs. And I'll just drink so that in case things are not going well, I at least can be useful. Also gotta appreciate that I have the highest aggro uh, range out of everyone here. However, the enemy mobs are still kind of even level, so not a big problem with uh, spell resist or anything else. No point in sheeping that one a druid. At least he's not just bypassing uh, stuff. I've seen that oftentimes as well. People are trying to run a dungeon and then they feel like they can speed it up by just taking cheeky routes that are typically more dangerous than the normal routes. Right, at least he's taking a break from time to time. Good pulling here. He got that root of the thing almost solo. This dungeon here is also way, way, way bigger uh, than any 
of the other instances before. Fantastic, we're just lawn mowing uh, through all of them. Very good. I could dispel you, man, but you are an undead. You don't need to sleep. You could just use your forsaken ability. pulling nice and slow so or slow and steady is potentially the better word okay i take all of that back Well, easy enough, at least the crowd control works well. The other mage uh, seems to know his business uh, as well. Marks it fast, and we're good. Alright, he pulled the boss, didn't even buff us, but okay, whatever. It's still the first boss, I sincerely hope we're not going to rush through it. That's a big fat need from my end. lost uh, the role yet again. Too bad.
The idea of uh, going here for the loot was the correct one. The execution, not so much. I've lost every single roll on this character. It's going to be the meme in this run. I potentially wear that uh, same cloth shirt until all the way until 60. I'm sure there's a quest reward in between. Good. So far things are working out uh, nicely. With a little bit of hicca uh, hiccup uh, here and there. seems to have their deviate heights together already everybody but me need to catch up a little bit I should have just stayed drinking mana. Yeah, the tank is pulling quite frequently. <laughs> Just drawing cooldowns. I wouldn't use evocation so lightly. The 
main problem in hardcore is the moment that something goes wrong, it goes really, really uh, wrong. And there is no oops. Uh, we just wipe. Let's just do it again. It's game over at this point. So certain cooldowns I personally wouldn't draw on trash mobs. But yeah, there must be a reason why people are dying. Uh, it can't be because they are always playing super safe, right? these little plants. Good, I'll take my own rule of being full mana, even if that means that I'm not going to top the DPS charts. So I want to make sure that things are being okay. Fantastic. Right, this is definitely an area where we need full mana. That's the alternative route. Either way is fine by me. Good, let's refill. If I remember correctly, like that left side was quite packed and it's very easy to pull additional enemies. Thank you. 
Good. Very good. Yeah, that left side tends to be a bit uh, more problematic. First resist that we have gotten. I wonder why. Set item, nice. Good for the druid. Fantastic for the druid, actually. Okay, enemies are still my level, so shouldn't be too much of a problem to get spells through. Good. So... Thought process here. He's leaving a little bit too much of uh, the mob standing left and right. If I remember correctly, the boss had a bit of a knockback. that's exactly what I mean. Sometimes it's just worthwhile taking the two extra seconds to just go through a pack and not risk effing it up. Maybe I should play a tank in one of the future Dead is dead runs.
Oh wow, my first item that I've won. Unbelievable. Scum is now 21. So... We're still getting a lot of spells through. I'm not seeing many resists. That's agility and spirit. Not necessarily something that we would need. Okay, so we won a, a belt, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there we go. Two uh, spirit. Finally, that little bit more mana regeneration. That worked like a charm. DPS of the wand is not that great. Although it shoots quite frequently, so not too bad, I suppose. start looting these because I'm the only one uh, who doesn't have his deviant heights now
Okay, our tank needs all of these guys standing. Not sure if I like that idea. This here is not clever, but okay. So I am indeed the last guy who needs Deviant Heights 9 are missing. could guarantee the guy will run into uh, the pack and yeah, just barely avoided them. Perfect. Pull the boss. I don't even have mana. Got some glove upgrades. Now this is going to be interesting. This guy hits hard, like really, really hard. I need to get closer. Uh, 
But our tanks seem to have taken tanky cooldowns, which is good. Oh, that's a great staff. Of course, we're not getting it. Huh. Well, whoosh. I'm not mad. Someone else uh, got some good equipment. And we got a couple of minor upgrades. Plus, I think we got besides uh, the besides the um, even heights. I think we've got it all. Oh no, the wailing essences. Now we got at least those. That's the point where someone is going to get themselves killed. Anyways, long enough of a run. I think that was a lot of fun. We got a level out of it and yeah, some minor loot. The two good items that I was eyeing for the staff and the tunic. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out. What brings you here? Okay, I'll pause the episode here and we're continuing with uh, some minor questing before we close it down. All right, welcome back after the Wailing Caves. Uh, we are now back into questing mode. Oh, Took a quest uh, to May your blades never dull. to deliver something to a Thunder Bluff, uh, and we do have twelve more minutes in order to do that, so plenty of time. Uh, we have entered kind of a tower and camp down here. Greetings. Winds be at your back. Walk with the Earth Mother. And all we need to do is get the flight path and then continue to move on. It's really that simple. Okay, well, let's first of all... Go to Thunder Bluff, and then we're uh, going to take it from uh, there. Unfortunately, or fortunately for us, we could do two quests on the way. A couple of uh, a couple of uh, razor uh, beaks. We're in need. Uh, we're in dire need of a 
clapping and we got 60 of them down and on top of that uh, we found uh, the corpse of the wife of one of the guys up here so that's good as well meaning we are all set up and uh, we are getting closer and closer to that sweet sweet level uh, 22 so fast forwarding for uh, fast forwarding for you guys so that we're trading in everything in thunder bluff all right so we handed in the quest got a lot of uh, stuff uh, from it and on top of it we got even more quests for the veiling caves could you imagine that means uh, we might need to get back to the veiling caves by the way great the sash horn. here Davo. Cool, good quest uh, rewards, really appreciate them. So, what we would want to do next is... Number one, I'll get a little stash upgrade. And then number two, I think we're going to go uh, farm some zebras. And there are there's still kind of a quest up here, so both is fine. Um, Ishamul is the last hunting uh, part. We first of all need a carcass and then we need to call him. Um, also, got the egg hunt down there, 22. That's maybe possible, but I wouldn't like fully go there yet. And yeah, we could go over here for Ishamul. You know what let's take that do Ishamul go up here uh, that sounds like a really decent plan and that's not too bad all right time to hunt the hunter there we are Ishamul let's go Well, you're no longer king of the savannah. Good. His reign of terror has ended. And as such, let's get up here. Moving on. Okay, we're back with Adventure Co. Company. And all we need to do is kill a couple of them for a manual page. That shouldn't be too difficult. <laughs> Uh, cloth boots. But unfortunately not better stats uh, than the one that I am wearing. Agility is unfortunately a dump stat for us who want to survive. It's stamina plus intelligence all the way. Good. I think this is relatively straightforward, so might as well fast forward it. Is it ready yet? All right, we made our way all the way into the camp. Gosh, that was a long quest. I need to talk to something first. Fantastic. So we got a manual created, and since I don't want to fight all the way out we use uh, we're abusing the ability of the mage to just teleport uh, hearts on his own cooldown and we're turning in the quest that was an interesting long uh, dungeon it actually took me around 15 minutes just to get all the way uh, to the uh, to the bottom of it but it was a quest uh, that even has to be traded in here in Algrimar. So let's trade in other two quests that we do have and see if that gets us all the way to 22. They were even getting some skills. Okay, so we're continuing to quest. Just hit level 22, by the way. I uh, should get uh, the new spells, but we're going to do one round of quests and then it's going to be fine. So we got uh, quite a few 
of these guys that we need to uh, kill and then a few thunder lizards so a lot of kill quests uh, with our level we are almost out leveling uh, them at this point but i don't mind uh, it's fine so there's going to be a straight up uh, kill quest should have combined that quest with the uh, gathering quest uh, from earlier but yeah, sometimes things are just not aligning that nicely. So, I think I will fast forward most of uh, this year. Uh, because it's really just grinding them down. All right, we're interrupting really quickly because I found a named quest target. A nice little big fat Kodo. Far away. Which, of course, needs to die here. I don't even need you uh, to use frost uh, nova that was rather quick all right continuing to go on all right mini status update in between i'm killing boars left and right and center uh, we got uh, the blood of uh, the thunder lizards and we've now entered the camp of al almost only casters and they have a nasty combination that i just wanted to highlight here one of uh, them deals nature damage uh, with their entangle and entangles you in place the other one is a fire major geomancer and if you're not prepared for what is to come then they can really mess you up specifically since uh, they are casters luckily um, I do have a fire ward and I could blink out of any entangle, but it is still uh, a neat combination. Appreciate uh, more and more how well uh, the uh, actual individual uh, mobs were designed back in uh, Warcraft classic days. It's not just random abilities, but they do have quite a bit of uh, RP abilities that, that fit their uh, particular theme. Alright. Uh, continuing to grind. Good time to hand in our quests. Oh, been expecting you. We shall meet again. Oh, that would be a neat staff. May the eternal sun shine upon me. Very good. And we also got that rather long quest done for him, Tribes at War. We are going to continue with uh, some uh, Thunderhawk wings. And that is potentially the last quest that I'm doing in this episode. Uh, Mid-level 22 is a good uh, pausing point as well. So let's fast forward and uh, get this quest going. All right, I decided to go just a little bit uh, further to the south and to the Smash the Axe uh, quest, which should be right here with the Silver Creepers. Just gotta be careful, there is an alliance control well, I don't want to run into. So these are the eggs that we need to destroy. And they are unfortunately guarded quite heavily by these little maggots. Yes, 
So the name of the game will be clear out the area. And then we're uh, then we're going to take uh, each of uh, the eggs. We need to sl uh, slash twelve of them. And these guys here are indeed quite a bane because uh, they are super fast and they roam around uh, the area, which means. We want to make sure that we're not accidentally caught by them. As you can see, they can deal quite a bit of uh, damage. So, slow and steady wins uh, the race, uh, even with this uh, very quest here. Let me fast forward it and uh, crash some axe. Good, we're making progress. 9 out of 12 eggs smashed. Uh, the little bit of a problem here is I don't want to fight close to the road. So we're just going to clear this area in order to smash the remaining eggs. And let's fast forward that real quick. So the egg problem is solved. We have crushed enough of them. Time to kill a couple of uh, cloud scrapers without aggroing a zebra, of course. That's the wing that we were looking for. There we go. Cool. Uh, seems like we got everything uh, that we need. Uh, except a Wailing Caves group, which would be fantastic. Because uh, that would allow us uh, to finish our quests. Um, I think we came to the end of today's episode. Super successful. Overall, got a Wailing Caves run going and a lot of uh, quests pretty much uh, freed up most of the Baron's uh, quests with what we did. And we also got some gear upgrades. The biggest problem is still and remains still our chest, which is crim a, a criminal offense that I haven't even found a quest reward or literally anything that could have helped us uh, to upgrade it. But okay, uh, there will be that one quest where we're getting a chest upgrade. And Owankitwa, we're marking him because I'm pretty sure he is uh, going to be part of the next quest line. Anyways, that's all I got for today. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and uh, see you very soon. Bye-bye.